Hi everyone, I'm back with an unboxing video. I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up recently and it's from Dior. This I purchased pre-loved and it's still in brand new condition. So it came with everything. So the shopping bag, the box, the ribbon, which is Dior has really, really good ribbon, you guys. I'm going to say it's better than Chanel. So it looks like this. And it came with the original receipt, which this one was from purchased from Bloomingdale's and the dust cover. So it came with all and the And you guys works. are gonna think I'm crazy because I did unbox <laughs> this bag recently also and it is again it's back in my collection, the Dior saddlebag in the white grained leather look at that you guys and this purchase I'm just happier because obviously I saved some money and it's pretty much the exact same as the one that I purchased and yeah the only thing is I think she just kept it in the box because it's pretty smushed and I'm just adding more stuff in it to make it more um like to widen up the base a little bit but this is what it looks like obviously you guys know I added the chain right here and now I have two Dior saddlebags I know that I went from zero to too much in one time but this is what they look like the oblique for whatever reason just seems a little bit bigger like longer you guys see that like the D is definitely longer I don't know if it's because it's handmade or what and the the shoulder drop the Dior um, the oblique one is a little lower for whatever reason so this is what it looks like and if you guys follow me on Instagram you would know I've already had my baby girl so I'm trying to get back to, you know, not so big. But yeah, I love this and I'm going to wear it today with my outfit. I am just wearing this, um, I like this set from Shein. It's this oversized top and then these jogger shorts with this outfit. What do you guys think? So, my opinion on if the saddlebags are still worth it. Obviously, because I purchased it, I think it's still worth it. And because I did pay full price for the first white one that I purchased, I think it's still worth it. It just depends on the person and how they feel it would work for their lifestyle, their collection, if they'll wear it often. Which... For me, I feel like I would wear it a lot because it's the grain leather. White is my favorite color to wear in the fall winter season. I don't know why. I usually tend to go lighter in my hair too, but not yet. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like depending on your style and your preference, the Dior saddlebag is still very much in. I know a lot of bloggers still post photos of them wearing the saddlebag. I know the block the black one is a little bit more popular but like I said personal preference I prefer the white version and it's I like it a lot it's, I love it actually um it's just a really odd shape which is it's really awkward my mom hates this bag um she's like why do you have two you're crazy which I probably am and it's the same length as my trendy right here because they're both 10 inches but the trendy will just fit more like it it looks bigger in camera or I mean in person too but that's just because of the really weird shape of it but obviously being this is more of a standard squarish shape it can hold more and you're able to maneuver items easier versus something that's oddly shaped like this one but yeah I have my two Dior saddlebags 
Would I purchase more? Probably okay, not. Okay, being um, that I do have both, I feel like I don't need to choose. But if you were debating on whether you should get the oblique version or the leather version, I much prefer the leather version personally. But that's because, I don't know, I feel like leather would just hold up longer. It's not so saturated as the oblique version. And... It just looks more classy and timeless and elegant, which I do love my leather version a little bit more. But I do really like the oblique version as well. It's very much known. It's what made this whole comeback happen because of this prep pattern. And I do prefer this versus the vintage because I think I mentioned before the vintage, you have the Velcro opening right here. And I just don't like that. I hate uh, how it looks on the leather. Um, I just don't find it as secure because you'd have to constantly replace, I would assume, the Velcro. But this magnetic one, I'm assuming they made it really well where the magnet wouldn't really lose grip very often or very quickly. But if you were debating between both, that's my opinion. And like I said, I'm glad I have both. But... This is a navy color. It does have some hints of not really, uh, some black kind of, or really, really just dark navy. But you can wear this with black. I don't think it would be a clash. And it's super cute. I just find this more casual, and this is a little bit more dressy. I could wear this with dresses, actual dresses, and this I would feel more like casual if I had like a funky edgy dress then of course I would probably wear it with this but yeah that's my opinion on these two I hope those are helpful and I hope you guys subscribe so that I'll see you next time bye